Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you a simple process on erasing or clearing up your image, just cleaning it up a little. I'm going to be using the eraser tool and the knife tool, and I'm going to show you this process in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm using a cross that's made out of wood. It was uh, made from exotic wood, and this area here is a special process. It's not really wood, but the size of this cross is approximately 18 inches tall and approximately 10 inches wide. And this area here, it looks like a heart. It's a really cool image or a design. I thought this was perfect to put on a t-shirt. This is three quarters of an inch thick and as I mentioned it's about 18 inches tall and about 10 inches wide. So this was put on a uh, cubicle and the picture was sent to me so that I can uh, transfer it to silhouette and try to uh, get rid of the background. I had a little bit of trouble which you'll see in the uh, in, in the silhouette studio. I had trouble getting rid of some of this black area, the cubicle part. And this is where the eraser tool and the uh, knife tool come into play. So I can show you how I got rid of this black area. Stay tuned. So right now what I'm doing in Silhouette Studio Business Edition is I'm cleaning up an image that I'm going to be printed on a t-shirt. So what I'm doing here is I wasn't able to catch all of the uh, the pieces that I that I traced and detached. So what I'm doing is I'm using my eraser. What I recommend is not to not to go around or go too far around an image in one stroke. So like like this here, like you know you're you're tracing it whatever. What I recommend is that you, now well, you have to wait. I recommend that you just do pieces at a time. So you, okay, you stop there, because if you go around it, and you know you messed up, you have to literally undo it and pretty much start over. You really wasted all this. Let's say all of this was perfect, and then here you messed up. Well, now you gotta start all over and it's a waste of time. So another thing you can do is use this knife. And you can just make a straight line. And be done with it. And then escape. And just click on all of these and just delete it. Again, this is a little bit redundant. And I can cut off the wood if I need to. I mean, it's no one's going to zoom in or no. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. And I do not go back. I don't want to take away too much from it. I'm going to try to keep it as original as possible. And then here you can kind of just like that. If you leave it there without moving the arrow, you can continue on. And again, I'm using the knife tool. I think that works better, but when you're doing, uh, again, when you have just little bitty areas to do, I just continue cleaning up around the edges, just using the knife tool. It's best to use the eraser for small spots, I guess, or small areas. 
like here to the right and once you're done with the knife tool you can always just move your click on your grab your image and just move it to the side and delete everything at one time in a minute you'll see that I didn't do that but just depends on your mindset at the time what you're focused on and how you uh, <clears throat> how you handle your projects in this case I really wasn't in any hurry because I wanted this to come out um, just right only because I really like the wood um, I guess effects since it was all wood natural wood um, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to the outcome or the final product I think I'm gonna put this I said I was gonna put it on a shirt but I don't think I'm gonna use a shirt I may be putting it on something else um, you'll see in the end I'm not sure how this goes in there, but I'll figure it out in a minute. Here I'm still cleaning up. For this project, I'm going to use Caesar Easy Subly. And for the record, I am exceptionally happy with the product. It's stretchable, which means that if I put it on a garment, a t shirt, that it's going to be, it's going to have that stretchability for when you're stretching the shirt and I think it's going to do really good with like athletic wear um, which is something I'm going to do later on delete that I'm going to go ahead and bring it in or zoom out and I just kind of do the same thing on this little area here I'm just going to attach it and group it As you can see, I'm still cleaning up the edges. I prefer the knife tool because it's a lot easier. All you have to do is just make sure that you, you got clean edges, clean cuts. It's pretty much like using some scissors. Um, I'm almost done here, but I prefer this method, the knife, the knife tool. I don't want to get rid of all the darkness on the edges. I'm going to give it a three-dimensional look. Okay, so since this looks clean to me, and because I'm missing some background, what I'll do is I'm going to if I'm coming with the offset. Highlight offset. And then again these little bitty dots here. So I'm probably gonna do because Jesus was 33, 033. I think that'll be perfect. So I'm going to go and delete these. I think I'm going to make the background like light brown. See how it's filling it in? That's perfect. That can go either dark or black. I don't want black. I want to do. I think this will work best. Hmm. This looks more realistic. And this will bring it out more, but I think I'll stick to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and group it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and group this. 
That concludes this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.